Battling a fire in the mid-1800s was hard work and required many volunteers. Eight, ten, even a dozen people would crowd around an engine's pumping handles to operate the pump. When these pumping handles, called brakes, were pushed up and down, they work a set of pistons inside the engine, which alternately suck water into the pump and then force it out into the air pressure chamber. Air trapped in this chamber creates a constant pressure and helps to even out the spurts as the water is sprayed out the hose. A full up and down motion of the brake is called a stroke. These engines were normally operated at more than 60 strokes a minute at this speed, a person could only work for a few minutes before needing to be relieved. Although labor-intensive, the hand-pumped fire engines were much more effective than bunker brigades. With a good crew and an adequate supply of water, some hand-pumped fire engines were capable of shooting a stream over 200 feet.